Welcome, Watauga Rising Engineers. In this session, I want to introduce you to the idea of subroutines. So we assume in this uh, session that you have watched the two videos on for loops and on variables. And this is the code that we left off with when we completed the video on variables. Okay, and so just to refresh your memory, in this code, what we're doing is we're blinking an LED a certain number of times with a certain delay in between the blinks. And uh, those were the variables that we defined up here. Here's our delay time between blinks. Here's our long delay after we blinked six times. Okay, And then here's our for loop right here that we spoke about in uh, the for loop video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace those four highlighted lines of code with a single line of code over here on the right. The code on the right does exactly the same thing as the code on the left. But I've replaced those four lines of code with a single line. And what it's doing, it's calling a subroutine that I wrote. And that subroutine is down here. Okay, now notice the format, what it looks like. It looks very similar to our main Arduino loop, our main program. Every Arduino program looks like this. It has the void loop and then the open and close brackets, and then it executes this stuff in here over and over again, right? Infinitely. Um, it, it looks the same. I just called it blink light. It's one that I just, I made up that name. You can call it George. You can call it whatever you want. Um, it has an open and close bracket associated with it such that every time that I call blink light from either the main program or even from another subroutine, whenever I call it, it's going to execute everything inside of the brackets and when it's done, it's going to return control of the Arduino back to the main program here and um, at that semicolon and then continue on the for loop. Okay? So that is a call to a subroutine called blink light. And um, it really helps to, um, to improve your, your programming because in a, in a larger program, say one like your alarm system program, you might want to do something over and over again, like, I don't know, check to see if the reset button has been pressed. And you don't want to write the code for checking the button and doing stuff based on that, you know, a hundred times inside your code. You just want to call a subroutine that will handle that piece of code for you. And so that's really a powerful uh, thing you can do, is using subroutines. Okay, we'll come back to the idea of subroutines. Because it's a little bit more involved, in this case, the subroutine does not actually return a value. It returns a void. And you can also pass variables to the subroutine, which we'll talk about. But uh, don't worry about that for now. Okay, that's it. We'll see you next time.